Defense Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated Rafi M Fiber's advanced test facility in Noida, highlighting Operation Sindor's success with indigenously developed technologies. He praised India's rapid progress in drones, defense innovation, and self-reliance through schemes like IDEX. During his facility visit, Raksha Mantri toured crucial advanced testing and manufacturing infrastructure, from an engine test bed and a metal additive manufacturing facility, to furnaces capable of reaching 2,800 degrees Celsius, an advanced composite polymer manufacturing center, as well as a range of drones, payload drop drones, swarm drones and precision-guided missile drones. These state-of-the-art, highly reliable systems are poised to significantly enhance India's defense readiness. The BrahMos-A missile, a variant of the supersonic cruise missile developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinostroyenia, for the Su-30 MKI fighters, has been upgraded, cutting weight from 2,900 kg to 2,200 kg, using composites and removing the booster stage. Its range has extended from 290 km to 450 km, with work ongoing to reach 800 km, boosting IF strike power, agility, and stealth capabilities. DRDO has chosen Hyderabad-based Apollo Microsystems to produce Vigana multi-influence ground mines for the Indian Navy. The Vigana MIGM is an advanced underwater mine developed by DRDO to enhance the Indian Navy's mine warfare capabilities. Equipped with advanced sensors to detect ships and submarines, these stealthy mines will boost India's maritime security, strengthen mine warfare capabilities, and advance Atmanirbhar Bharat by enhancing indigenous naval defense production. The Defense Ministry has approved the development of an indigenous stabilized launcher for man-portable air defense systems under the Make-2 category. The project is likely to involve collaboration between the Indian Navy, DRDO, and private sector firms, with companies such as Bharat Electronics Limited, Larson & Tubro, or Tata Advanced Systems potentially leading the charge. Designed to counter limitations of shoulder-fired IGLA systems at sea, the Euro-stabilized launcher will enhance targeting accuracy on moving ships, strengthening naval air defense against drones, helicopters, and low-flying missile threats. The Indian Army has issued an RFI to procure 6,000 handheld software-defined radios. These advanced, secure, and reconfigurable radios will enhance real-time communication, interoperability, and protection against electronic warfare. The move supports Atmanirbhar Bharat by encouraging indigenous development while modernizing the Army's battlefield communication capabilities. The National Institute of Maritime Affairs, NEMA, the official think tank of the Pakistan Navy, warns that India could simultaneously target Pakistan's key naval bases, PNS Jinnah, Makran, Qasim, Karachi, and Jawani, in a future conflict. Leveraging carrier strike groups and long-range assets, India aims to overwhelm Pakistan's defenses, prompting Islamabad to invest in dispersed bases, hardened infrastructure, and integrated coastal and air defenses. As per Indian Defense Research Wing, India's Aeronautical Development Establishment, AD, is upgrading the Long Range Land Attack Cruise Missile, or LRLACM, tested at 1,000 km, to reach 1,500 km and eventually 2,000 km. Powered by the indigenous Monic engine and ASA Seeker, it succeeds the nearby missile, enhancing precision, reliability, and India's long range strike and deterrence capabilities. The Indian Army plans to integrate compact ISR drones with over 3,000 MBTs, including T-90 Bhishma and Arjun tanks, starting 2028. These tank launch drones will provide real-time video, enhancing situational awareness, target identification, and tactical mobility across diverse terrains. Equipped with electro-optical and thermal sensors, 
AI-driven target recognition, and anti-jamming capabilities, they can detect enemy forces, counter ATGMs, and potentially carry micro-munitions. Trials focus on VTOL drones operable by tank crews with minimal training. This initiative aims to modernize armored warfare, giving commanders a 360-degree battlefield view, and improving offensive and defensive effectiveness in contested environments. Godridge Defense and Larson and Tubro have urged India's Defense Ministry to fund a new 90 kN uprated version of the Kaveri derivative engine with an advanced afterburner for House Tejas MK-1A and future MK-2 jets. Current KD versions produce up to 75 kN, short of the GE engines, used in Tejas, with the IF set to operate 220-plus Tejas MK-1As, needing 700-plus engines. An indigenous solution is vital to reduce reliance on U.S. suppliers amid delivery delays and export risks. Godridge and LNT propose upgrading the Kaveri engine by first integrating a Brahmos afterburner for 73 to 75 kN thrust to be tested on Tejas Limited Series production by 2028. A 90 kN variant is planned for MK1A upgrades, leading to Kaveri 2.0, a 90 to 95 kN version. Scalable to 110 kN for Tejas MK2 and AMCA MK1. The Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, has extended the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Full Scale Engineering Development bid deadline to September 30, 2025, after no private consortium submitted proposals. Despite interest from firms like Tata, LNT and Barrett Forge, concerns over high investment risks, low short-term returns, house dominance, and complex technical demands deter equity participation. The AMCA program, India's fifth-generation stealth fighter, aims for first flight by 2028 to 29 and induction by 2034 to 35. Private companies prefer safer tier supplier roles over full partnership highlighting challenges in attracting major private investment despite government efforts to ease entry barriers and offer incentives. That's all from YKS team for now, hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.